need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. To add animation to selected objects in presentation slides, use the Animations tab in the ribbon. To animate a slide object, click the object in the slide to which you want to apply animation. Then click the desired type of animation to apply to the selected object from the animation shown in the Animation Buttons group on the Animations tab within the ribbon. Also note that you can click the More drop-down button in the lower right corner of the animation list to display a menu of the animations available. You could also click the Add Animation drop-down button in the Advanced Animation button group to display the same menu. Within this menu, you can click the More Effects buttons, such as More Entrance Effects, More Emphasis Effects, and so on. This will open up a separate dialog box containing all of the available animation effects within the selected animation category. You can click on any of these animations shown within the dialog box to preview the animation in a slide window. Make sure that the preview effect checkbox is checked. Once you have selected the desired animation effect to apply, click the OK button. You can then click the Effect Options button within the Animation button group to set any desired variations for the animation. This will keep the same effect, however it will change the direction for which the effect occurs. As you add animation to an object, the object will appear with a little number next to it in the slide, starting with the 1 to indicate its animation order. To set more advanced animation options, you should enable the display of the animation pane. You can click the Animation Pane button shown in the Advanced Animation button group to display the animation pane at the right side of the presentation window. You will see all slide animations appear in the list shown in the animation pane. If you click an animation effect in this list, you will see the corresponding number in the slide turn an orange color, so you can tell which slide object the selected animation is applied. You can click the Trigger drop-down button in the Advanced Animation button group to set the animation to occur on a mouse click of a specific slide object or a bookmark by making the desired choice. In the Timing button group, you can, se you can set the Start property, which determines when the selected animation should start. Use the drop-down to select either On Click, With Previous, or After Previous. You can use the Duration Spinner box in the Timing button group to set the duration of the selected animation. You can use the Delay Spinner box in the Timing button group to set the amount of delay to occur before playing the selected animation. To change the order in which the animated effects occur, select the effect that is in the incorrect order and then click the Move Earlier and Move Later arrow buttons in the Timing button group to reorder the slide animations. To see all of the available animation options for any animation effect selected in the animation pane, click the drop-down arrow at the right end of the selected animation effect. In the drop-down menu of options that appear, select the Effect Options command to open a separate dialog box of options that you can set for the particular effect. There are typically on two or three tabs called Effect, Timing, and optionally Text Animation. Click on each tab to view the options and change any settings as needed. The options will vary depending upon the type of slide object selected and the type of animation effect applied. 
When you have finished reviewing and changing the settings for the selected animation effect, click the OK button to apply these new settings. To delete a selected animation effect, click it in the list of animation effects in the Animation pane, and then click the drop-down arrow at the right end of the selected animation effect. From the drop-down menu, click the Remove command to delete the animation. At the top of the animation pane, you can click the Play button to play the entire slide animation sequence. You can also click the Preview drop-down button in the Preview button group in the ribbon to do the same thing. If you would like to turn off the animation preview in the slide, you can click the checkbox for Auto Preview that appears in the Preview button's drop-down menu to disable that feature. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www dot teachucomp dot com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.